Many people miss the heart of what the first key of Unbound Ministry is all about. The words repentance and faith often bring to mind what we have to do to repent of things we have done and an examination of how much or how little I really believe and trust. Self-reflection is important, but now is not the time to go back. It's the time to move forward towards encounter. Jesus speaks to us all in Revelations chapter 3, verse 20. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come and eat with that person and they with me. Jesus is the initiator. The person coming for help may not realize it, but hidden in the circumstances that motivated them in asking for ministry is Jesus standing, waiting, knocking, calling. We read in Romans chapter 2 that it's God's kindness that leads us to repentance. Do you not realize that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance? Repentance and faith is a gift, a grace that brings conversion of heart. When Jesus says he wants to come into our home to eat together with us, it's an invitation to relationship and intimacy. When we listen to a person's story in an unbound session, our faith is alert to Jesus, who is present, longing, and waiting to be welcomed into every part of the person's heart, and alert to the Holy Spirit, who is working in the person's heart, enabling them to open the door. We also need to be aware that we are instruments of the presence of the kingdom of God. When Jesus began his public ministry, he said, the time has come, the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. Again, Jesus is the initiator. He enters our world, revealing the Father and his kingdom as he offers his life to us. His invitation to repent and believe is a response to his presence, but also a response to the presence of the kingdom. Jesus said, but if I drive out demons by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Driving out demons removes a barrier to the kingdom of God. The first key is foundational for the action of God to touch the person's life and set them free. It is the person of Jesus and the presence of the kingdom that brings grace of repentance and the release of faith. This is the conversion we seek that leads to a new way of living. Thank you for tuning in to our latest ministry tip series on repentance and faith. Repentance and faith draw us closer to Jesus and the love of the Father. I hope this was your experience as you watch this ministry tip. To learn more about the first key of Unbound, Repentance and Faith, you can read Neil's books, Unbound, The Unbound Ministry Guidebook, and Abba's Heart. We also dive deeper into the five keys in both our Freedom in Christ and basic training study programs or e-courses. Don't forget to follow us on social media and sign up for our e-news to be the first to hear about upcoming events. We invite you to partner with us by making a donation on our website so that we can continue to make resources like these ministry tips available to the whole church. God bless you and we'll see you next time.